Greetings freaks and folks, this is Vlatelet. And I actually missed saying that and I missed you guys. Um, I missed recording a little um, and talking to you. So why not leaving a comment and let's ch chat a bit about Jax. Jax was teased yesterday already. We knew it because one of the followers said Jax in the text and they were type Weapon Master. Jax happens to be a Ruined Terran champion, most likely because the weapons that we saw yesterday were weapons from Ruined Terror weapons. And yeah, this dude is one of the core set from the first 40 champions in League of Legends. And I never really played him because he's really uh, hard to play or was hard to play. I don't know how he is today, but I definitely never forget his voice line. Imagine if I had a real weapon. So anything that touches his hands becomes a weapon. That's why he's a weapon master and normally he fights with a lantern. So with that way, let's jump over to the reveal video. And here we are. It is up. My prediction for Jax is that he is a Runeterran champion for 5 mana and he's a 4-5. Let's find out. Wanna line up for your beatdowns or go all at once? <laughs> I think he's the same voice actor, isn't it? Okay, he's a 2 mana. But he is a weapon master and he's a Runeterran champion, a 3-2 origin. Grandmaster at arms, so probably you can equip everything that is weapon master. And auto equip the light of a Kathia. Equipped allies have struck for 15 plus damage. So he's probably very good together with uh, we've seen that effect improvise. He's probably really Think good you with fish up something to eat for this King. battle. Catch and release only. Do you kill everyone you be? Let me show you how There's we did dude. it in the Kathia. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's the overwhelmingly faded unit. Out here. So why not? <laughs> I love that card, by the way. Catch is just great. Oh, we swap there. Swap the equipment. It's also a thing. Just me, or did he get a lot scarier in here? Huh? No, Jax. I'm on your side. Don't worry. <laughs> Glad she sounds so cute. The uh, now. What's her face dinner? is so badass. Okay, let's see. Is it level up already? I think it could be, right? You got nothing I can't handle. Boom. There it is. A thousand years of battle and I'm just warming up. Oh, <laughs> that, that one's great. That one's great. Better than the Laura one, in my opinion. Okay, he's a 4-3 now, and he has still all-equipped the Light of the Cathia. And attack, give me plus one plus one for each equipped ally this round. Okay. That's interesting. So he's a stat stick, basically. It's a little dull, in my first impression. I mean, of course, he can equip keywords to him with all these equipments. Keep it moving, team! I thought maybe there would be um, some more synergy with the equipment, so right? just as a little condition. Today we stand. Well, the music is great. Has this Pantheon vibes, right? Need a weapon? Okay. Is it swapping a weapon or? We'll see that in a second. This. Never gets old. It never does. All right, the light of Ikathia is a one mana equipment with quick attack. Okay, so he has quick attack right away. Is the thing, and if Jax has level, the light of Ikathia has overwhelm. Okay, I see, I see. So, thing is, the Jax basically has quick attack from the get go because he has his auto equipment like Kane does. And this uh, Light of Akathia on turn or on the level up form has Overwhelm as well. So it's sort of the Gnar, right? Gnar has quick attack and Overwhelm. So similar to that dude. Um, and besides that, he will be pumped up by plus one plus one for each equipped ally this round. So yeah, you want to have all these um, dudes that give you improvise the equipments. And we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, yep. But like I said, he's he feels a little dull. So he's a Rune Terror champion. He probably want to run this together with Demacia because Demacia, because of the rallies, makes a lot of sense to, uh, with a stat stick like Jax. And yeah, or maybe the like we saw with Pantheon, the Faded um, pack, right? 
Uh, we have Jack's Counter-Strike, which is, by the way, one of his abilities in League of Legends. And it's a 3-mana burst speed. Give Jack's Barrier this round and forge him. What is forge? Do we have a new keyword? We'll check that in a second as well. Um, the Grand Master at Arms Origin is you may put any Weapon Master cards into your deck during your deck building. So it's the same thing that other Rune Terror champions have uh, up to that point. You sort of have a mini region and they build another new region together. And this is sort of the Weapon Master region. So yeah, I'm blowing into the same horn like a lot of other people that this feels a little lazy design-wise from the card. I think there are a ton of things that you could do, but it's also very hard to do. It's I'll give you that. Um, for example, I thought of a champion, maybe Rune Terror champion, where you can only add um, or you can add all the landmarks, basically. But this would be very toxic with other combinations, right? If you can add all the landmarks together and then you mix in another landmark uh, champion in there from another region, which would be maybe a little overpowered at that point. So you have to be careful with stuff like that. So then we have Sherezis, which is a two mana burst speed double region yet again from Bandle City and Targon. And it says, give an equipped ally the stats and keywords of its attached this round and equip the attachment to another ally. Okay. Does this mean also attached units or only like equipped weapons? Like the, the attachment um, wording here throws me off a little. But I think it will basically say it gives you the stats from the other weapon and then you switch it over. And it's only this round, but two mana burst speed is sick. Like if you have this other weapon, which gives you overwhelm, for example, the Light of Acathia, um, you have them leveled up and you share this overwhelm with another unit, that's pretty strong. Then we have the One Ring Shepherd. We saw him yesterday, a three mana two two, and you can pick if you either want to improvise on him or on another unit. So improvise will just give you one of these weapons um, that we saw the other day, um, which is a pool of I think eight weapons, uh, and it's depleting over time. So if you pick one weapon, it's gone. You you have it there, and if you lose it during I don't know discard or whatever, you won't get it back. So you have this pool of eight within the game, which is pretty cool uh, design wise. And yeah, this dude is probably one of the staples in Jack's decks because he can either on him or you can equip another unit, which is pretty sick. The Ionian Hookmaster basically does quite the same, but he's only improvising on himself. Uh, a double region with Noxus and Iona, two mana. Uh, really easy enabler for your weapons, so you want to run her as well, probably. And then we have another two mana burst speed card here, double region, Noxus and Ionia and gives an ally challenger this round. If it's equipped, draw one. So this is pretty interesting. Um, like cycling itself is almost always a very good card in itself. Um, we saw it with a lot of units and spells that are cycling themselves. Um, but with the condition that the unit has to be equipped, right? Uh, and together with the challenger, you could maybe with quick attack or with overwhelm, whatever, you can do really nasty combos with the entrance, entrancing lore here. I don't know, though, if you want to run this every time um, in Noxus decks. It's really interesting because you have a lot of Overwhelm units right away. And um, giving them challenges is pretty strong. So having this uh, enabled in Noxus is definitely something to consider during deck building, including this into your deck. And last but not least, we have the catch where you can give an LA plus one plus one this round or you equip at burst speed a two or cost or less. Um, equipment. It's not only from the pool that we have from the improvising pool, um, it's also other equipments. I'm not quite sure, but I think the other equipment from Noxus, which gives all wellness, also two mana, but I could be wrong about that one. Um, so you could at burst speed equip Overwhelm, which is also pretty nasty for one mana if you have that in hand. So I will be honest here, I thought Jax would be a little more interesting in what he does um, and his effects. Unfortunately, he is a stat stick in the end, and with his equipments, uh, another keyword, um, yeah, vari variance, so to say. Um, but the whole improvise and weapons archetype is pretty interesting, though, and I will definitely check that one out. Um, don't know if you re really want, or if I really want to build around Jax that badly. Um, I will try him out, though, for sure. Um, his level up um, is also the pl 15 plus damage. I don't think you have to see that, so um, he's leveling in hand, which is also something that I didn't mention. Uh, makes him way better, by the way. So, yeah, we'll wait and see how, how he turns out and how he's 
maybe working good together with Kane or not. I think he, this is sort of a pre-built archetype already, um, Jax with Kane. So that's everything that I've got for you today. Thanks for checking this one out. You can always subscribe up here for more videos like that. And on this side, I have another video for you ready. Can get for the next. Until next time, you stay legendary. Let out.